What's going on YouTube? Broken Place for Days here. I have a deck profile on my friend's agent deck. Uh, the one that he got first place with at Locals where he pulled that Gergen X. Uh, there was about 40 people there that day so it did pretty good. And he's going to go ahead and show you guys the deck. Yeah, like that. So I got two Christias. Obviously. Yes. Three Hyperions. Broke. The key player, MVP of the deck. Shining balls. Venus. Uh, I got just the two Earths. I would love to run three, but... Does triple Venus ever clog? No. Okay. You just summon it at 1600 beater. Three stars, uh, exceeding plays. Nice. And then the MVP card of the deck. Shine ball beat down. Yeah, shine ball beat down. It's attack them, poke them for 500. They don't expect that, like, alright. But eventually it adds up. And, yeah. Double Thunder King. I was running triple Thunder King, but it was kind of like clog, cloggy. And I took one out for a Spear Reaper, which is a lot better now. Nice. And then just two Dimensional Alchemist. Fairies, get stuff back. Yeah, I actually just really put them in there because I actually had a love the show called Full Metal Alchemist. I don't know if any of you guys have seen <laughs> of it. Sick. Alchemy, Alchemist. Pretty cool. Equivalent trade. Alright. Two Herald of Orange Lights. Broke, also a tuner, make uh, armory arm, equip it to a Digusto Phoenix. Yeah. I got two card troopers. Why not three? Uh, I, I thought three was <laughs> legal. Yeah, uh, he was using three before because he thought three was legal, and then we told him that he could only use two, and he was sad. Same but, thing about Christia. I thought oh, Christia yeah, he was, he was running, well, he wasn't running three Christias, but he wanted to use three Christias, and we were like, no, you can't do that. <laughs> but yeah. And then, then I got... The Spare Reaper and one Honest. Pretty solid lineup. Except for monsters. Spells, I got two pod dualities. Nice. I got one Heavy Storm. The Spanish one. Tormenta Fuerte. And I got one Monster Reborn. Mm -hmm. Two MSTs. And then finally, the tech is uh, three Shards of Greeds. How does Shard of Greed work out? It's awesome. They don't, if they don't have an MST, it really forces pressure. It forces them to making bad plays. And if they don't, I just plus off of it. One turn, I draw three cards. Um, it's a really good card. This card has won me many matchups. I've, uh, in the finals, I was playing Ki uh, Dino Rabbit. And I had two of these on the field. He had to go, he had to force a heavy storm. And then uh, with just that one card, because it was going to be next turn. And next turn, I just set four. And my back row just won me the game. Nice. Uh, how come you don't play Dark Hole? Uh, well, I don't really. I never like Dark Hole. I um, never played Dark Hole in any of my decks, just because. Because you um, always have field presence and you always win, so. Yeah, I'm never. I'm never in that situation <laughs> where I would like need to be there. I think I play smart enough. Nice. And okay. Then, all right. Broken, broken, broken for days. Uh, obviously the triple call haunted. Really good card trooper. You mill, you get back Hyperion or Christia, or even a card trooper back to draw a card. Yeah. So you end up drawing two cards. Uh, one solemn judgment. No solemn brigade. None of that. You pay enough life points with this, and then the Christias. No, not the Christias. Sorry, the Venus. So I really don't feel like warning is that good. Yeah. Plus, it's gonna be a dead draw later on. Yeah. And then for the traps, I'm gonna play one torrential, one deep prison, one compulse, and one bottomless. Cool. That's it. Okay. Then for extra extra deck, two gachi gachi Gintetsu. Really good card. I play another MVP, Digusto Phoenix. Really I good. That was a good card. Yeah. Synchro to armory arm into it. Twenty five. Attack twice. That's five thousand directly. Yeah, that's broke. One dark mist. I don't really make them, but if I have to, just to get over a monster that I know. Or like first turn I'll go Venus and then I'll special summon three shine balls and then make him to make them force like a book of moon or something, I don't know. Yeah. Then one Leviathan. You can't even see these because they're ultimate. <laughs> and then one Levier. Levier works great in this deck. I banish like a Thunder King or whatever I need. Then I just bring it back. That's a good card. One acid golem. This guy is just there just just to look cute cool 4, it's, 000, all, yeah, it's ultimate 4500 beater 
Yeah, no big deal. Two Hyperion. No, no big deal if he comes out. Yeah, no big deal. It only attacks like Hell of Times. It only detaches all your materials. It's and only 4,500. It's and, only ultimate. And he gains 500 attack for all the materials. Yeah, so no big He's deal. actually good. Just call the Haunted a Hyperion. Special summon a Hyperion. Then like special summon a Christia. So you then, pop, then they can't special. And yeah. then you overlay, and then you like destroy all the things. Yeah, it's got control. Like, I'm going to yeah. switch this out for a Heliopolis <laughs> when it comes out. Yeah, cool. And then one Army Arm. <laughs> and then one guy at night. <laughs> Alright, cool. Alright, so uh oh yeah, your side deck. Go ahead and show your side if you want. Side deck, one torrential for wind ups. Anything that swarms specifically wind ups. My so friend. much hate. Yeah, you're a wind ups, bro. <laughs> I know. Yeah. And then when I side out, game two, usually wait, wait, I just... thumbs up for wind ups. Ah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> game two when I side out my I side out my triple shard of greeds. Mm -hmm. And I side in two dust tornadoes and an MST. Good. Just just because I know they're gonna side in D fissure or something that's gonna be troublesome, so just these three are good. Yeah. Uh, triple effect bailers. Again, depending on what type of deck I'm playing, I'll take out the. Usually, I always take out the shard of grace. So that's why I also like them. I take out triple shard of grace for triple veiler. Uh, double prohibition for like heroes. You just call alias. You can't use their Gemini spark or alias. Two DD crows for insectors. Uh, Dark World. System Downs for the obvious. Nasty card. Uh, two Shadow Imprisoning. Again, same reason. Insectors, Dark Worlds. And then finally, one Noble Man Cross Out for anything that sets. Is that Altered Art or something? No, it's original. What? It looks cool. Yeah. All right. Uh, so that was the main deck. That was the extra. That was the side. Uh, thank you for watching the video. Uh, please like the video. Please subscribe. Uh, again, he got first place with this deck at a tournament with like 40 people. So he beat Windups, he beat Dino Rabbit, he beat Gyrgya, he beat oh, all yeah. that. I, uh, the only th I beat first round, I beat uh, Chaos Dragons. Okay. Second round, I beat uh, what, what? I beat E Heroes. Third round, I lost to uh, Insectors. Then fourth round, I beat. Uh, I, I beat the mirror match, and then fifth round I faced that Zayman Zector dude, and then I I beat him. I get uh, I lost him once, but then I beat In him top. when it mattered at top eight. And then I forgot who I played next, but then in the finals I played Dino Rabbit, and then nice. I won. so it stomped on stuff. And so yeah, is that all you gotta say for the video? Yeah. Yeah. All right, cool. All right, so thanks for watching the video. Please subscribe, and until next time, keep it broken, guys. Oh, and I'll have a dagger file on my rock stun soon.